Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me for this prayerful pause with the pastor. Uh, this is Inauguration Day in our United States of America. And in a little under four hours, we will have a new administration, a new President Biden and Vice President Harris, God willing. I don't know if you got to see the memorial service that the two of them did last night on the uh, on the Washington Mall. It was quite moving for me and simple, classic, and moving. Ritual moves us. As you know, I'm a, f a big proponent of ritual. I think that it touches us in ways that words can't, and it moves us at deep, almost archetypal levels. Um, and then the president-to-be said uh, that to heal, we must remember. And I woke up this morning thinking of all the things I wanted to not forget. I mean, I need to remember, but I want to lose their hold on me. Um, things from the last four years. And so I made a list. <clears throat> I'm going to invite you to do the same thing, and we're going to have a little ritual about it. I'm going to say a prayer over the ritual. Um, so maybe listen to this first and then do it on your own, or listen to this and come back and watch again and uh, take the prayer from this, however it works for you. But I think the more that we can ritualize letting go of what was, the better off we're going to be. Because to heal, we must remember. But we don't have to hold on to those things that are so hurtful. We can work our way through those painful expressions. I want to remember the things that I never want to experience again, right? But I don't want them to have a hold on me that keeps me from experience what's experiencing what's happening in the world around me right now. I don't want to be held by the past. I want to be informed by the past. <clears throat> and so my list, I'm sure, will be different from yours. There might be some common elements, but uh, we all have other things that we might want to let go of uh, from the past year or from this administration. But for me, uh, for me, I'm, I want to, um, I want to let go of his war on the truth. I want to let go of um, his war on the defenseless and his war on women and all people of color. I don't want the memories of how awful those things were. Uh, I want to retain the memories, but not the power that they have over me in the present. I, I feel the same about his war on immigrants, on religion, and on democracy itself. I never want to forget what I've seen because I never want to go back there again. But I don't want my upset over those things to hold me back from experiencing the goodness and the richness and uh, the positive feelings that are coming and poss possibilities, the possibilities that are coming to us now. I feel the same way about um, letting go of feelings of despair and hopelessness that have been so rampant understandably rampant in our nation. I, I, want, I want to let go of feelings of mistrust and division. I want all of us to give it another try for trusting and uh, uniting. So what uh, I'm going to do is to be um, burning, my little pan to drop it in, burning these, uh, these things that I've said, and I'm going to pray about them, but I also want this to be a cleansing flame, a flame uh, that brings about new life, you know, kind of like the phoenix rising from the ashes, um, or maybe in, in terms of um, the work that I do and the not-for-profit we started named Firebird Spirit, which is that image of the firebird, the spirit rising. I want the firebird spirit to be within us all, as we move forward. To heal, we must remember. We have to remember enough to put it into a perspective of memory and not of <clears throat> active engagement, I guess, maybe is a better way to put it. So I think I'd like to 
say the prayer and then burn it rather than trying to do both and juggling it all on my lap. So please pray with me. <clears throat> oh, spirit of renewal and spirit of memory, help us as we move forward to never forget, but at the same time, keep those things that we are remembering from holding us back into what might be. We ask your blessings upon our nation, on its new leaders, on those of us working to move forward in our own lives, our own communities, our own churches, As we burn our lists, God, we ask that you transmute everything that is within us which can be reduced to just memory and take away all of the emotion and the ties that it might have to us in the present and future that would hold us back. And God, we ask that for everything that we may have forgotten to put on our list that we'll think of later on. Help us to remember that we've also already let go of those things when they surface for us later in the future. Ask your blessings on us, we, we ask now, for those and for our families, for all those who are either struggling with COVID or who have already lost loved ones to this horrible disease. We ask your blessings and spirit of possibilities, your firebird spirit, to be upon all those families who've been separated at the border and are not yet reunited, on all those who have suffered at the hands of our government against our will, on all those who have served this nation in uniform even though they may have disagreed with the commander-in-chief, all those who served even when they agreed with him, we ask, God, that you open their hearts to a better way. And God, we ask your blessings upon all who are in our nation's capital this day and throughout our nation, that they might be safe, that if there be demonstrators, that they be professionally dealt with. We hope there will be no loss of life, God, but we place ourselves in your hands. Be with us now in this ritual, we ask. Amen. To heal, we must remember. Thank you for joining me for this prayerful pause with the pastor, a few moments outside of time to think of something greater than ourselves. May blessings be upon you throughout this day and always. I'm Pastor Deb Swift of South Presbyterian Church in Rochester, New York. God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>